Hello, it's Wednesday the 8th of October 2014, and what a nice little surprise I had this morning. A Skype with very special people. And there she is, my gorgeous niece Tracy, and mini great niece, Emily. I have two great nieces, um, that is Emily. She's not even, wow, well, how many months? Just a few months old. Still waiting for the hair to grow. It will come, I promise you. The hair will appear eventually. Isn't it wonderful, the marvellous technology we have nowadays, that we are able to see as well as listen to the wonderful people that we know, eh? Like this, for example. I mean, years ago, there would only have been my voice. Would that have been enough to keep you wide awake, other than my glimmering eyes and my big ears and my wonderful teeth? <laughs> well, better teeth than beaks. I mean, we have teeth, ducks have beaks. And look, they were out in force this morning. Gosh, look at this. The sun is out and the ducks are out in full force. Hoping desperately that I'm going to give them a piece of bread. Sadly, there is nothing with me. Unless I throw myself in and let them eat me. Is that a good idea? Yes, gang, the wildlife of Bracknell. Come to see Chris Reardon doing his show. I love it. Well, we've got a few little uh, messages coming today. Um, I've also been to get my to order my shekels this evening, boys and girls. My, my shekels this afternoon. My new Israeli shekels in the, in the, the impending holiday to Israel. Oh yes, impending holiday to Israel. Hang on, I got a tune for that. <laughs> that wasn't very smooth, was it? Never mind. Never mind. Here we go. Here we go. If I was a rich man. Daddy, 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 dee, 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 dum. All day long I'd biddy, biddy, bum. If I were a wealthy man. Hey! <laughs> yes, my new Israeli shekels are on the way. I do hope to be doing broadcasts from the country of Israel and the places that Jesus visited. I am hoping to do that. Where? I'm not quite sure where, but maybe the Dead Sea. I haven't really planned it out. I intend to get there. And then pick up the leaflets, you know, that are outside the front of the hotels. That's what I'm going to do. New Israeli shekels have been purchased. Thank you very much for all your comments. I love it when you send the comments and I can read them out as well. Thank you very much to Wendy, who sends on the subject of a dentist song. A funny kid song called The Dentist Song, um, which is on the YouTube uh, thing that she sent there. Thank you very much. I thought it was a bloke singing. Apparently it's a female. Oh, no, I thought it was a woman singing. Apparently it's a man singing. But it did sound like a female with a blocked up nose. You know they got blocked up nose like that. Talking of blocked up noses, uh, Ronnie's boyfriend Andy has got a block. He's got a cold at the moment, and I've been round there twice now while he's sitting there. A chew, a chew, a chew. You better not give that to me. I've just got over two chest infections in a row. It's a bit excessive, really, isn't it? Hello to Joyce, who thinks the Jennifer Lopez comment was funny on yesterday's show. Did you miss it? Who missed yesterday's show? There you go, so you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not doing it again. You can't miss a show, dear. It's like ripping out an episode from a book. Or a chapter. It's like ripping out a chapter from a book. You don't know what we're talking about now, do you? Well, don't miss a show, then. Um, Joyce says we would rescue Barry if she happened to shove him off the stage with her fat ass. Yeah, one quick flick with that J-Lo ass and he'd be off that stage, I'm afraid. And I think you should sing back up for Barry, I'm sure. He does my duets, volume two. Yeah, I got old backing singer. Yeah, I'd like to be, you know those three that stand at the back of Barry Manilow? I'd like to be one of those backing singers. I like the bit. I like the bit. At the beginning of the show, usually, it's a miracle where he does a little twirl. I do have a video of that somewhere. I will try and dig that out for you at some point. I will. Uh, Mary Flick writes, I'm going to the dentist on Wednesday. Oh, Mary. Mary, it's been nice knowing you, darling. Now, don't feel on it, Mary, that when you have those new set of false teeth put in that you can't watch the show. I don't mind people with false teeth. That is fine, Mary. No problem at all, my darling, OK? Um, uh, poke away, she says. I don't mind dentists at all, as long as you don't find anything wrong. She says, I love Jennifer Lopez. Would love to sing her sing with, uh, to see her sing with Barry, but I don't think it will happen. Well, it's a different sort of music, isn't it? I don't know. Mind you, I should imagine he can turn his, turn his hand to anything at all. Like I said before, you wouldn't see him rapping, but I bet he could. 
I bet he could rap as well. I'm not a fan of rap music myself. Uh, Brandon says, be too long to go on about my dentist story. Oh, tell us, Brandon. We want to know, dear. We want to know the dentist story. Um, but to answer your question, yes, I go regularly. And that tool is called a scribe. That's the thing with the rusty nail at the bottom there. Number five. Mm, yeah, that's OK. Number six. Watch number six. Mm, number, you know, that thing. He says it's a bit uncomfortable. Did your auntie Brenda get home safe after going in the car with a stranger? Yes, she did, fortunately, but she should never get in the car. She worries me. Aunt oh, dear, auntie Brenda. Um, she worries uh, Brandon, too. And he says, uh, Wendy, with that song, because he saw Wendy pl uh, 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 put a little song on my um, wall. Let's hope there are no more fillings to come. It's about time dentists go through the same pain they put their patients through. Oh, yes. Well, um, you know, I mean, you could do that yourself, Brandon. You know, when they're leaning over you, a swift kick in the face would, would soon sort that out, wouldn't it? Um, Kieran says, hey, Chris, there is a song called Dentist on Little Shop of Horrors. Now, I don't know that. We also had a little email in from, um, I think it was Kevin. Yes, Kevin. Hello, Kevin, uh, who sends the ultimate dentist song. Thank you very much. Kev from Leicester. Yeah, Leicester. I love the cheese. Leicester Searcher. Is it you who makes it? Leicestershire cheese. I do like a number seven or a number eight. It has to be quite strong. Don't see the point in eating cheese when it's really more mild. What's the point of that? Might as well not have it. Like eating a lump of lard, isn't it? Eh? Oh, no, thank you very much. Thank you, Kev. Um, where else are we going today? Oh, so much to talk about. Oh, oh, I know what I've got to show you. I know what I've got to show you. Um, I don't, oh, by the way, Little Shop of, Little Shop of Horrors, yes. Not keen. I know this does sound a bit strange. I'm not keen on that. You know, that uh, anticipation and and um, what's the one where they do the dance? Let's do the time. For some reason, I'm not keen on Little Show Shop of Horrors. Don't know why. Just never talked to that one. I mean, it's not like a Barry Manilow show. Be honest, is it? You know, can you see Barry Manilow coming out with some sort of mask on or something? It won't happen. You know, it won't happen. But that's not for me. Not to say it's not very popular. Hugely popular. The Little Shop of Horrors. Horrors. <laughs> now, talking of horrors, boys and girls, check this out how I'm linking from one story to another. I'm practically a Radio BBC Four person, aren't I? I want you to have a look at this. Um, I spotted on Facebook today that one of my friends has purchased a new pet. Now, this is going to frighten one or two of you. You may like to close one eye and just Peer carefully with the other eye. Are you ready for this, boys and girls? Look at this. This is my friend Daniel. He appears at some of my nights. Look, he has got a new pet. How would you like one of those in your house? Would you like a closer look, would you? Oh, my God. Look, there it is. Isn't that the most vile thing? It is a tyrantula with nasty, hairy legs and great big fangs. He's bought one. Why would you have that in your house? Oh... Uh... Isn't that the most awful thing? Can you imagine having one of those in your house? I don't care if it is in a cage. I don't think animals should be in cages anyway, but honestly, oh, oh. Well, I suppose it's not a cage. It'd be a glass thing, wouldn't it? No, it's not nice to have things in glass cages, but I wouldn't have one of those in my house, would you? Oh, give me a cat any day of the week. Oh, a tarantula in the house. No, I, don't. I hope there's none in here. Oh, I saw another one of those big spiders yesterday in my spare bedroom. Oh. That's gone, I'm afraid. Straight out the window. Moving in here without pain, rent. Are you having a laugh? Finally today, lovely Rory has sent in a little message. And Rory in Fulham, South West London, very posh. Very posh. And Even I can't afford to live there. Has it gone dark in here? Why has it gone dark suddenly? How strange. I, I, I feel a little bit darkened. Why has it gone dark in here? Where's that shadow come from? Something's gone wrong in here. Never mind. Oh, I know what it is. This light's on. Why is that light? If I, if I turn that off, for a moment it become dark, and then it'll brighten up. Is it? Is it? Oh, I, oh no. One of the studio lights is not working. Oh. A bulb has gone. Christ, that's going to cost an arm and a leg. There's special, special television studio lights here. They are, dear. Great. I should, would you like to see one? Just a moment. I shall show this to you. La. It's not working. One moment. No, nothing. Look, look at check this out. One minute. I'll be with you in a minute. Stop. What? Don't rush me. Don't rush me. One minute. <coughs> Here is 
one of our very special studio lights. Look at the size of that. And it's very bright and it has ceased working. Most disappointing. Don't know where the hell I'm going to get one of those from. Never mind. It's a curly whirly lamp. I should have to order one before I go on holiday. So, so we're in minor darkness now, boys and girls. I do apologise, which adds to the excitement, doesn't it? Uh, finally today, so Rory sends in this. Hi, Chris. Can't find any dentist song, but Pam Ayers wrote the poem, I wish I'd looked after my teeth while waiting to see the dentist, which I have just sent you. And Rory sends in the poem. Oh, no, Rory, not poems, please. Oh, no poems. <laughs> oh, God. And it's eight verses long. Oh, no. So here is the poem, as sent in by Rory. Do you like poetry? Oh, God, poetry. Oh. <laughs> By Pam Ayers. Oh, I wish I'd looked after my teeth and spotted the dangers beneath. All the toffees I chewed and the sweet, sticky food. Oh, I wish I'd looked after my teeth. I wish I'd been that much more willing when I had more tooth there than filling to give up gobstoppers, gobstoppers from respect to me choppers and to be buying something else with me shilling. When I think of the lollies I've licked and the liquish all sorts I've picked, sherbet dabs, big and little, all that hard peanut brittle, my conscience gets horribly pricked. Verse four. God. My mother, she told me no end. If you've got a tooth, you've got a friend. I was young then and careless. My toothbrush was hairless. I never had much time to spend. Oh, I showed them the toothpaste all right. I flashed it about late at night. But up and down brushing and poking and fussing didn't seem worth the time I could bite. If I'd known I was paving the way to cavities, caps and decay, the murder of fillings, injections and drillings, I'd have thrown all my sherbet away. So I lie in the old dentist chair and I gaze up his nose in despair. And his drill it do wine in these molars of mine. To Amogam, he'll say, for in there. How I laughed at my mother's false teeth as they foamed in the waters beneath. But now comes the reckoning. It's me they are beckoning. Oh, I wish I'd looked after my teeth. And that comes from the works um, <laughs> of Miss Pam Ayres. There's a little picture of Pam Ayres there. See, Pam Ayres. Um, the Classical Collection, 2008. All right, have you enjoyed our little show today? Shall we have a little bit more of this, shall we? If I were bitty, bitty rich, deedle, 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 doodle man, I'd build a... Oh, here it goes. A big, tall house with rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town. A fine tin roof with wheel one falls below. There would be a yes, one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for show. I'd fill my yards with chicks and turkeys and geese and ducks for the town to see. Squalicking just as noisily as they can. And each loud boop, boop, burp, burp, would land like a trumpet on the ear. As if to say, here lives a wealthy man. Go on one then. If I were a rich man, diddle, 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 daddle, diddle, day. All day long I'd biddy, biddy, bum, if I were a wealthy man. I wouldn't have to work hard. Hey, diddle, 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 dum. If I were a bitty, bitty rich, diddle, 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 man. There we are, a little bit of that for you today. Thank you very much, boys and girls. I shall see you for another little bit of fun tomorrow. Have a nice Wednesday.